This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Okay, so I absolutely love the DJI Inspire 3. It's speed, the camera quality, and all the technology on board that make this one of the best aerial platforms to take photos and videos with. This drone is no doubt big and definitely serves a specific purpose for high-end shoots that require better image quality that you just can't achieve in a smaller drone with a smaller camera. Like for my everyday shoots, I frequently fly the Mavic 3 Pro because it's got a great camera, great flight time, it's agile in the air, and it can literally fit in a small spot in my backpack. The Inspire 3, on the other hand, comes with a big case. You need two batteries to fly the drone, which means you need to carry more of them to keep this drone in the air for a long period of time. And in order to carry this big full-frame camera, you need to have a larger aircraft for good agility in the air and flight time. All of this, however, comes together to bring one of the crispiest images from a camera that you can get in the air and is used for me personally when I have a client that demands this type of image quality or I think a specific event can benefit from using this larger drone. Like when Battleship New Jersey was towed here in Philadelphia down the Delaware to the Navy Yard for repairs. Here's something else that makes the Inspire 3 unique, the fact that you can fly it with two operators. So you can have one person flying the actual drone while the other person is in charge of just operating the camera. That's another cool feature that comes from the design of the Inspire 3 with the landing gear that lifts up. This allows the camera to pan and yaw freely without any obstruction from the drone, so you can have the camera pointed in one direction while the drone is flying forwards in another direction. This means that the person who is controlling the movement of the drone can use the FPV camera on the front to look forwards at all times while the camera operator spins the gimbal to keep the frame focused on the subject that you're capturing. This dual operator setup allows you to work together as a team to really ensure two things. One is aircraft safety, so if I'm the one that's flying the drone, moving it through space, I can make sure I don't run into anything as that is my sole focus. And if I'm the one that's controlling the camera, then I can unlock these different shot perspectives, these different opportunities that I might not get with another drone as, again, I'm focused on just capturing the shot, just moving the camera. So there really is a lot of benefits that come from using a dual operator setup. But I think the days of using two people on one drone is coming to an end as we got a brand new update, a brand new feature to the Inspire 3 here called the Vision Assist that really does change the way that I fly this drone and all of the other drones within DJI's lineup. Let's dive a little bit deeper into this, but before we do, a quick word from this video sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is my all-in-one tool to share and manage my content. The layout that I've chosen gives me the ability to share my videos, photos, and general information with my audience on my own terms so I get to choose how how it's displayed. After choosing from one of their many templates, I was able to fully customize the experience quickly and efficiently with the new Fluid Engine that makes building out your website a breeze. All the elements that Squarespace offers gives me so many different options to feature the images and content on my web pages. This also makes my website easy to maintain over time so I can spend less time updating my website and more time creating. Squarespace also offers flexible payment options to users that decide they want to sell goods through their website. In my case, it would be prints, presets, or anything else for time related. To keep on top of how my website is performing, Squarespace's analytics go in depth so that I can see how much traffic my website is getting, what area of my website is being viewed the most, and I can see which web pages and which content is performing the best. So a big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and helping me display my work online for over half a decade. Okay, so I would say between the Inspire 2 and Inspire 3, I've logged about 20 to 30 dual operator flights where both controllers were connected to the drone and I was splitting duties between a camera operator operator and a pilot and I just think that the experience is clunky. I would so much rather have full control over the drone to put it in space where I want to control the camera how I want because I think that if I'm trying to relay what I want the drone to do to say a pilot as I'm a camera operator, it just feels clunky. It feels like an unnecessary step whereas I could just put the drone in space if I want to and get a better shot. I'm usually a solo pilot. I usually just fly my drone on my own. So the thought of having somebody else control the camera just kind of seems foreign to me. Sure, I've done it in situations situations where I needed to, but in most scenarios, I can just fly this drone myself and get the results that I need. That's why I'm super pumped about the new Vision Assist feature here in the Inspire 3, which gives you the ability to monitor all sides of the drone as you fly while keeping your subject in frame. This example that you're watching here is from my Mavic 3 Pro that I was flying out in Vancouver Island, which by the way, was the first drone to get this Vision Assist feature, this Vision Assist update. Now I was tracking this boat from the side in sport mode, and if you look in the bottom left corner, I'm able to see what's directly to the right side of my drone. This gives me peace of mind to see what obstacles lie in my way while keeping my drone 
drone moving to get the shot that I want. Like notice how as I fly towards the trees, I can slowly increase my altitude up and over them, which leads to a really cool shot with them starting to pop up here in the foreground. Sure, my obstacle avoidance sensors would have picked up these obstacles if I was flying to the side and they would have brought me to a stop, but then it would have ruined my shot. Also, I was in sport mode for this specific example, so my drone would have been good as gone stuck up in those trees. This feature thankfully has been brought to the Inspire 3, which does make sense as we do have the upgraded obstacle avoidance system here. So if you look on the end of the arms here, we have these big lenses that actively look for obstacles and now actually let us look through them to get a look at what is around the drone, even if the main camera isn't pointing that way. So now on the screen of your RC Plus in the bottom corner, you'll see in the direction that your drone flies automatically, depending which way you move. So if you start to move to the right, it'll show you what's to the right of your drone. The same is true with any direction that you fly. So if you go backwards or to the left, it moves around to those sides so that you can see what's in the way that you might be flying. If you fly forwards, it will instead show you the view from that FPV camera and not the obstacle avoidance sensors. This means that you'll get a much better view that is in full color and has better dynamic range. The view from those obstacle avoidance sensors will instead be in a black and white and the highlights can sometimes really obstruct your view, but it does the job at showing you what might be in the way. To me, this feature is something that I now rely on and is something that I can't fly without. The Mavic 3 was the first series of drone to get this new vision assist feature. And as I started to fly other drones outside of the Mavic 3 after that update, I felt closed off. I felt blinded when I was flying my drone and therefore it made me a little bit timid to say orbit a subject or fly backwards because I didn't know what was there. And the same was true for my Inspire 3. Even though this drone was so great and had all of the great technology after using vision assist, I felt a little bit timid flying this drone for good reason because it's huge and very expensive. Take this clip, for example, when I was flying my Inspire 3 up in Newport. I was chasing after this yacht and little did I know there was a sailboat right behind me until the top of the boat popped into frame and I completely panicked. This is something that with Vision Assist, I would have been able to see and would have been able to correct the course of my drone so that I could continue my shot and not have to completely bail. So as it stands right now, all of DJI's modern drones have this Vision Assist feature. It really comes down to if it has the new obstacle avoidance hardware. So if it has these larger, wider field of view cameras, then you can look through them and you can make use of Vision Assist. So this goes for the entire Mavic 3 lineup, including the Enterprise and the Thermal. So their Enterprise line of Mavic 3 drones. You've also got the Air 3 as well as the Mini 4 Pro. They have the new obstacle avoidance tech. And of course, this drone right here, the Inspire 3. But I think that it's gonna have the biggest impact on this drone as again, it now alleviates the need to have two operators because I can fly the drone, I can see what's in the way, and I can operate the camera all by myself. And in my opinion, get a better looking shot because everything that I wanna do is in my mind. I can just move the drone and get the shot that I want instead of having to tell somebody what I want them to do and potentially just lead to this clunky situation. Now, I've got a list here of pros, of good things that come from just using one pilot. So with Vision Assist, I think that it has, I would say, six fundamental changes. The first is better image transmission. So if you have two controllers connected to the same drone, I've noticed that the image transmission isn't as good. It of course is still gonna give you a nice reliable signal to both remote controllers. But if you're using just one controller, one dedicated signal from remote to drone, it's just gonna give you a better image transmission from start to finish, no matter where you fly. Uh, also, you can pocket more money. So now if I've got a gig that let's say is $3,000, I don't need to go and hire a camera operator for say, half, 1500 or thousand dollars. Instead, I can pocket all that money, fly the drone myself and really keep things on my own schedule. I don't need to try to coordinate with somebody else. It would just make things easier. Uh, it also can maybe allow you to win more jobs. So if I'm bidding on a job, if I'm bidding on a shoot and I just need to bring one pilot, my price is going to be lower than somebody that needs to bring two pilots. So therefore I'm going to be able to win more jobs because I'm cheaper and people are going to want to hire me more. Uh, you can also have more precision. I've mentioned that because now if I'm flying the drone by myself, I can get the shot that I want without needing to relay the information to somebody else. Like, hey, can you speed the drone up? Hey, can you move the drone to the right or to the left? Um, it also is just less stress. Like, I think that if I'm in full control over the drone, I don't need to worry about somebody else doing their job. It's just all down to me. And finally, less upkeep, right? You don't need to manage somebody else. You don't need to manage another controller. You don't need to do all the extras that come with using two operators. 
I guess that really was conveyed throughout this entire list. But hey, there are six pros to flying by yourself. That's personally why I am a lone wolf. That's why I like to fly drones by myself. So being able to now have vision assist is a huge game changer here on the Inspire 3. You know, the more I think about it, the more I find it crazy that adding a feature can have an economical impact on your business. Like again, adding this feature now kicks out the need for a second pilot in most scenarios, which is kind of cool because now you can, again, pocket more money. You can go and win more jobs, right? In my opinion, I'd probably rather rather hire an assistant for the day instead of a camera operator. So somebody that's just an assistant is going to be less expensive. They can help with like battery management, data management, moving the gear around and stuff like that. Instead of paying somebody that is at a higher rate that might be a little bit more skilled because they have the camera knowledge. Now instead I can hire almost anybody to help me out for the day to move batteries around, to keep them charged, to move data around and stuff like that. So it's crazy that a feature can have an economical impact rather than just a usability impact. Now look, I'm not trashing the need for two pilots. I think there are a lot of jobs out there where two pilots is going to make sense. Uh, of course, people are going to think that you're more legit if you show up and two people are controlling one drone. It's going to be like, wow, they know what they're doing. But I think that in a lot of cases, Vision Assist is going to get the job done for what you need when you're flying the Inspire 3. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below on Vision Assist. Again, I think it's a game-changing feature. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.